In this last tutorial, I will show you how to make rotoscopy with TV paint. I will show you two different ways, uh, something more traditional where you will have to draw frame per frame and another mode uh, where it's more automatic and combining different special effects. So here we have a sequence imported into TV paint. And so what we can notice is the fact that the video is a little shaking, it's not stabilized. So first, how to stabilize a video? To stabilize the video, we have um, an effect called the, the stabilizer. But before using this effect, we need to define a stabilizing point. To do so, I will use Windows FX tool and I will use Pixel Tracker. The pixel tracker will allow me to track a specific zone that doesn't change a lot and then combined with the, the effects stabilization, it will help me to stabilize the video. So let's set the tracker on screen. I will move and put it on this guy so I could choose some, someone else actually. It's not a problem, but I decided to take this guy. I can eventually change uh, the track. And I will also need to define marking and markouts. So the guy is visible on the first image and he will be visible until... Okay, let's record it until that image. Okay. And so now I can track the pixels. And so I can now save this track. Okay, I can close it and I can open the FX tag where I already use the stabilization. So I will just show you with stabilization from the beginning. And I will use motion, stabilization one point. I will click on origin to copy from path and I will use track one just here. And so we focus on the guy. He's always in the middle of the screen. But of course, I don't want to uh, focus on the guy. I would like to focus on the dog. So I will move the destination point. And put it here so I can focus on the dog. Only at the end, it's still moving since uh, they, I didn't have any uh, points to focus. So here I have applied the effects. And actually, you can see I have stabilized the video into two parts since I have used two stabilization points, the ones we could see in this clip. I used two elements to stabilize my video. One that stops here and another one that starts here and stops here. That's how I got these results. And then now it's really simple since I just need to create a new anim layer. Put it anywhere, lower the opacity value and then I can draw to take the drawings that interest me. So that's what I've been done on this project. And once you have uh, made your key images, you can delete the original layer and start to work on the animation directly. So this is about the traditional rotoscopy, where you use a video as a reference and then you reinterpret the original source. Here it's about something more automatic. So this is me again, and I was filmed at the City and Expo in Burbank last year. So uh, this video has been stabilized 
using the corner of the iMac. The original video is bigger, but since there was some short film displayed here on the iMac, I didn't want it to show it through this tutorial, so I've cropped the, um, the video. So again, I've used the stabilization to stabilize the video, and I got this result. I have used the convolution grid. You remember I showed you the convolution grid in previous tutorials. To get here um, some results, you see I have the convolution grid. Edit, so I show you. Here I used in the center this value as 16, and the accumulation of the different points are the inverse of this value just here. So the central value is 16 and the negative value is minus 16. If for example I change a value here, I got something completely different. Oh, without the scan cleaner, here is the result. Here if you just need the lines, you have to do this. Then I also played on the multiplicator to increase the line values. And I combined this effect with the scan cleaner in order to only keep the lines. Once applied, I got this result. But it's not enough, because here, okay, we have uh, the lines, but it's not enough as a rotoscopy. So I kept the effect applied with the convolution grid and the scan cleaner, and I have used another layer with the original color. And I apply different bunch of effects that we may see here on this project. We have a lot of layer, and we have what we have. We have the convolution grid. We have here a mosaic. Just to show you how we're up. So the mosaic can be found just here, and it just gives a pixelated look to your project. You see? Then I also used half tone effect. So a half tone effect creates kind of pattern like this on your images and this effect can be found just here just to show you on the original video here we are we can change for a soft dot or any other points as you like And I lower as well the opacity, and I've kept the original video. And everything combined together gave these results. But if it's not enough for you, if you would like to have something more artistic, you still have the possibility to combine the convolution grid and the original video and a custom brush using the smear mode, the smear stem mode. That's what I've done on this last project, where we can see the convolution grid and the original video that was painting using the smear stamp mode. Enjoy. That's all, folks. Thank you for listening and for watching these numerous tutorials.